It's that time of the week again, my friends. Hey there, guys. How's it going? Erica here from Highway 49 RC. Today on the trailer build, what we're going to be looking at is the suspension. I kind of hinted at it in the previous video, but um, today we're going to be really getting into it in detail. So what I have here, for the leaf springs at least, is the RC four-wheel drive Galanda 2 leaf spring kit. And no, I'm not actually using this on my Galanda. I actually bought two of them, yes. This one I actually bought just this week because I realized, you know what, I'm going to make all of my like suspension um, like components identical so that I'm not making two different setups and one side is going to be different than the other, like front to back wise, you know. So I bought a second one. They're only 50 bucks and so really not too bad. Anyway, let's go ahead and tear into this and see what we got. It made sense to me to have two of these. One, because I can layer, or like now I have, now that I have eight leaf springs, I can actually layer them on top of each other so that it can basically hold more weight on the trailer. And I thought that was a really good plan um, to have. So, leaf springs there, bag of like step screws, hardware, nuts, all that stuff. And then we've got a little bag of, these are actually, like they're like one or like there's two kinds of pieces in here one is concave and one is convex to go on the top and bottom of the leaf spring so one will go up here on the top and one will go on the bottom so one's shaped like that and one is shaped I don't know, you guys know what I mean curved up so that the screws actually sit flat when you screw it down to the axle so that's what those are here we've got uh, some shackle pieces some shackle hangers stuff like that and then some more shackle hangers, some other little brackets, and some wedges for if you want to shim your axle and give it a, um, a bit of an angle, you know? So I've already basically set up a mock-up for the trailer and the way the suspension is going to work. So let me set that up for you guys here, and I'll come back and show you guys what I'm doing. Alright, so this is my mock-up. This is only one side. As you can uh, probably tell, I've got the whole thing kind of propped up in the back there. But basically what's happening here is I've got my leaf springs, as you can see. And then they're attached on one side to shackles. And that's really why leaf springs work, is because one side moves. Um, and then, of course, the shackle is attached to the shackle hanger, which will get bolted to the frame. Now this piece in the middle, I, I didn't really realize this, but the shackle actually adds more height. Or... I don't know how else really to explain it, but like more height to the trailer. So I had to add this little like block of metal, um, which is literally just this right here. It's got four holes in it for the other hangers, and um, they don't have a shackle on them, but um, they're just like they basically just attach the leaf spring to the frame, and it's just a piece of square stock. Um, and then in the back, you can't really see it very well. But there are two of these pieces. They're just like little flat pieces with holes in either side. And I just used them as little shims in the back. Um, you can kind of see it, how the bottom of this is like, it looks flat, but you can tell that it's not. Um, it's basically just these like shims. Alright, here are my parts roughly laid out the way that they're going to be assembled. So, here we have the shackles, um, and over there as well. Got some step screws, nuts, this is the metal block that I made. I mean, I keep saying block, but it's not really a block. Um, the like the middle hangers and the little spacers for the back. So let's go ahead and get started um, assembling this. I'm gonna start with uh, this block um, because it's just a little bit simpler. Alright, there is this, like, center hanger piece. Alright, let's attach the leaf springs now. I've got that um, step screw in the hole there. I'm going to slip a leaf spring over top of it, and then put on these two little spacer bracket piece things. I don't really know what they are supposed to be, but uh, I'm using them as, like, little spacers. Alright, 
there we go. Now I got the leaf springs on. They're not really that tight. I just want to make sure that they're, you know, they're loose enough that they move. And here you can get a better idea of like what those little pieces on the back are supposed to be for. Basically just to hold them together and to give them a bit of like a better resting point. Oh, ha. Huh. I actually put this on the wrong way. Hang on. Okay, there we go. That's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be touching this piece of metal. Or so those like pieces on the back are supposed to be touching this and before they weren't. So basically I had it attached on the wrong side. Um, and sorry I keep moving the camera around. I'm just trying to find a good angle for you guys. So next what I want to do is just attach the shackles. So I'm just going to put this through here. Put a step screw through the shackle. And through the leaf, leaf spring here. Like that. And then put a nut on the other side. There we go. And then basically same thing with the, like the, I don't even know what this is, like the shackle hanger if you want to call it that. Again, step screw goes through the hanger and the shackle. And then a nut goes on the other side, just like that. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, here's both sides of that assembly complete. We've got the shackles on either side moving pretty freely. And of course the center mount there that will then get welded to the uh, main frame. So now time to go attach this to the axle. And there you go. There is both sides of the suspension setup put together. There's this side, which we just made. And then this side over here, which basically just shows the back. You can get an idea for basically what's going on there. Obviously the shackles are not set up the way that they're going to be or are supposed to be. But that's because this is all just resting on top and is not actually the way it's going to be. So it's time for me to go have lunch because it is 12.15. Um, and then after lunch... After I've set all this up and gotten all the measurements and stuff and basically where this is going to get welded on set up, uh, we'll go and weld this. Alright, here's that square stock bracket that I made. Now that's all welded on, the holes are drilled and stuff like I showed before. But I also drilled the holes for the other side of the uh, leaf springs. So the, I guess it would be the shackle side to be exact. Same over here and then same on the back side, which uh, obviously you can't see just because it's on the other side. So now it's actually time to install the leaf springs and the axles to this. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip forward and do that because it's kind of, um, it's not hard, but it's just kind of tedious and a little bit finicky. All right, there you are. There's the finished product. I'm super happy with it. Check this out. Rolling, bouncing trailer. It's a little bit squeaky, but I, I'm incredibly happy with this. I'm, I, I don't know. Kind of at a loss for words right now, but it's really good. Next step, what I'm gonna work on also today is I'm gonna try and get the tongue of the trailer done, like the little pointy, sticky out part here. Um, not sure if I'm going to have enough time to get through that and welding it all today. Um, but, you know, you guys will find out. Hopefully I do. It's about 4 o'clock right now, so I should have enough time to get through that. If not, I'll come back and do an outro later. Um, yeah. Basically my plan is just kind of to do like a bit of a triangle shape here. Like out to, I don't know, about here-ish roughly. From like about there and there on the front and then bring it up to a point around here so I don't really know how that's gonna go so I guess you guys will find out once I get the shape of that kinda laid out. Alright here's what I got for the tongue sorry about the brightness but um, I'll try and fix that up in my software or when I edit this but basically what it is I've got pieces here that got an angle there funky angle on the end basically so that it lines up real nice and then I'm gonna have a little straight piece not that long but just long enough that I can um, maybe weld a bit on the end and then I can screw into that
All right, guys. Here we go. It's finally six o'clock in the evening now, and this is what we've gotten done today in the eight hours that I've been working on this. We've got fully functioning suspension here. We've also got the tongue. Yeah, you guys haven't seen much of this. You get you you guys only saw just me laying it out, not since it's been welded. So I've got this all hooked up and welded on. And I think it looks pretty swanky. Looks really nice. I haven't put anything in the end yet, right here, because I'm not really sure what my plan is for the hitch. Um, <coughs> I'm thinking I'm going to use like a Traxxas ball end on the end of here. So like I have one just sitting right here. So something like this, little ball end there you can barely see. But that's going to get screwed onto the end of there, I'm thinking. And then I'll just be able to pop it down onto the actual ball, which will be attached to a hitch, which will be attached to my truck. If you guys got any of that. But, um, yeah, this is actually coming along really, really great. Thanks for all the support on the previous videos. I really appreciate all the comments. It, like, I can't even tell you. It actually makes my day, because I usually see these comments, or all you guys' comments, like, during the day while I'm doing my schoolwork, and then... Like, after my math lesson or whatever, I'll, I'll check my notifications, and, like, it, it's literally just to pick me up in the middle of my day, to see you guys commenting and everything like that. Thank you so much um, for all the support on this, and um, for all the great comments, so. That's gonna be about it uh, for me today, guys. Next week is gonna be kind of finishing touches, almost. Not quite there completely yet, but... Uh, we'll be next week. I think I'm gonna work on probably doing uh, like wheel wells or like fenders. I'm also gonna work on just making the decking, not actually securing it yet because like I'm gonna paint all of this. Um, if you guys have any like color suggestions, put that in the comment section down below along with any other comments you'd like to comment to me. Um, I'm probably just gonna do it uh, bog standard black, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, that's what's happening next week. Um, that's that's all I got, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, wherever it is now. I think it's like down over here. I think it's right there. Click that subscribe button. Smash the notification bell. Make sure you get notified of the next video next week, obviously. And um, yeah, thanks again so much for watching. Peace out.